Hello everybody, this is a, another chess video, this one, um, this is another loss, uh, we, we took a little break, but we're back, I did actually record another video, but it wasn't really, uh, the standard wasn't great, and I was having trouble with the editing, and it was just a pain in the ass, basically, but anyway, now we can start the, um, analysis of this one, and we're trying to keep the videos a little shorter, so... That last one I recorded uh, was a bit too long as well, which is part of the reason I didn't upload it. Anyway, um, okay, so some French defense, but this is a uh, La Bordone variation, which I've never faced. So really, um, this is very unusual variation of the uh, French defense. But basically, I'm a one-trick pony, and if someone plays E4, I'm going to play the French defense. And this position didn't seem terrible for me either. Um, okay, so already it says black slightly ahead, but anyway, uh, nothing special during the opening. Actually, we should probably, uh, lines, feedback, right? We'll keep that up, even though we don't want to rely on it too much. Uh, yeah, I was fine with that move. Okay, um, right, so keep going. So yeah, we actually moved this bishop for a change. That's about the only thing that's special. Uh, obviously, this knight being on this corner isn't really great, but this uh, this pawn is very well defended, so not really much I can do. Okay, so it actually preferred that, but I really don't understand why, because that would just be trapping my bishop. Okay, so yeah, we've got the... Uh, knight pinned here and then okay uh what was i planning here i think i was just trying to coordinate an attack here but obviously it's defended and they can defend more oh maybe it was something like this yeah okay anyway right bishop there and we found the good move here we go boom of course, threatening checkmate and threatening to take this, which would lead to a fork, which is... Oh wait, this wasn't checkmate. Oh yeah, it was It was checkmate, but they moved their rook, so I take this, then we take this, then they move there, and yeah, so now we're ahead, just gonna keep, uh, you know, trading pieces and stuff. Basically, they're in a weak position now. Obviously, they've had to move their king out. And I have... I'm basically trying to get all the troops out to try and end this while I can. But that's not going to happen. As you can see, the game goes on for quite a lot longer. Uh, sorry if I'm speaking a little bit too fast. Um, I have a problem when I'm recording where, where I'm either speaking too fast or too slow. Uh, it, I guess it'll come with experience. But anyway, okay. Um, so... Yeah, so basically we're trying to trap the king here to try and get a checkmate off. And this is where the mistakes start happening. Because uh, we're going, we're, we're too desperate for the checkmate. Basically the the engine's saying, just, just leave the checkmate alone, dude. Just castle or just move this way. You know, defend these. Like, stop being so obsessed with getting checkmate. You're already ahead. But, you know. And yeah, this was a nice move by the opponent. The reason it's a nice move is because um, this queen, I think, yeah. Oh, it's a great move because I was basically thinking I was going to get a checkmate off here. And I was like, oh, there's nothing they can do to stop it. But they found the wrong move. The one move that does completely screw with it. And at this point, I was trying to think for ages. I was like, you'll actually see here. Yeah, it took me like two minutes to make the next move because I was like, Oh, I need I need to like move this rook here and then move this pawn here for check and then like boom 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 But no, this queen is just too annoying. So I traded which the computer doesn't like uh, Kind of just lost my queen's good position there and yeah This is where the position's starting to collapse for me and I finally castle But at this point the engines like you shouldn't even bother castling bro um Okay, pawn there, and I didn't take advantage of that blunder, and I don't know why it was a blunder, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, 
king hidden away here very annoying Def this square is defended by this knight and this pawn so no hope of checkmating and even if we try to attack from this side obviously this is all blocked off and this is defended by this pawn so the king is surprisingly safe unfortunately uh, and this is sort of the beginning of the end so let's see how how it goes from here so yeah this is me trying to push this pawn and we miss the fork happens a lot doesn't it sometimes knights are tricky you know kind of a hard fork to spot in my defense because it's like vertical and most forks are like horizontal so you know uh but yeah obviously that's unfortunate and the engine now says eight ahead so we'll see how it goes more pushing this is me basically th thinking well i'm pretty screwed here but maybe somehow i can get one of these pawns to the finish line but oh it's not gonna happen yep there we go so we've lost our We've lost all of our rooks, they're now ahead by three whole pieces. We have four pawns, but it doesn't mean shit. Uh, and yeah, it says mate in 13 here. And this was me just being a dick and not, not surrendering. Never surrender. You never know. They might accidentally stalemate somehow. But yeah, they didn't. I mean, this at this point I could have definitely resigned. It was it was it was borderline disrespectful for me not to resign at this point, um, because this happens. And you know, someone who's fourteen hundred like this person was when I first them, it's uh you know, they're obviously gonna figure out how to do this rook uh, attack. And yeah, that's it. Uh, let's see. So basically, the game was. Uh, the problem was, the game was going well, but I was trying to force checkmate, when the position really didn't demand that. Um, you know, this knight is really, really powerful in terms of defending from my pieces, and if the king moves there, then I guess pawn, but I feel like they just had way too many defenders and way too many places to go, even though it does seem cramped there. So I can understand why I thought that a checkmate was possible, but, you know, if you don't see it, then maybe it's not there. You know, you can't always force it. Um, so yeah, that was the main mistake. And then, of course, uh, things escalated when, well, first off, me letting these, uh, these rooks get forked was obviously really bad. But then another problem, I think, was just not dealing with this pawn but i don't think there was anything i could have done realistically because it's one rook versus two rooks and a knight and the king and my my king can't even go over there because these rooks can just block so um yeah i think that's everything i mean obviously um let me know in the comments anyone who's got this far if you would like the videos to be longer or the same same length or around the same length we're trying to keep them around 10 minutes um at the moment uh just because i think that's a good time frame and uh but we can go deeper you know i can try and explain like the principles behind the opening that i'm doing and i can like go into variations you know every time it says mistake here here i can like look at why it was a mistake but then it would probably end up being more like 20 minutes or 30 minutes and i understand that that's pretty long for a lot of people uh so i'd rather just have it to be short and then you know it isn't as much of a commitment but anyway that's gonna be it there will be more of these coming um and yeah nice short one this time